Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Give myself over to why? Praise God. Because we are living in a sex craved society. Look at somebody say, I want to be right. I want to do it right. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody got to stand and be real. Somebody got to stand and be like God would have you to be. You'd be surprised, amen, of the people, amen, that's making it, praise God, and they, they, their job is just a camouflage for what they're really doing. say amen. It's, it's about making sacrifices. Amen. The man and the woman got to make sacrifices in order for the kids to have. I'm going to pause right there because I want you to think about what I'm saying. Amen. There has to be some sacrifices made in order for your children to have. There's a lot of things in my younger days I wanted but I sacrificed so that my children can have. Can you say amen? amen? I had to give up some things so they can have decent school clothes. I didn't want my kids going any kind of way. Because your kids represent you. Look at somebody say, your kids represent you. Therefore, you got to make sacrifices. You got to go to work when you don't feel like it. In the hot sun. Because you recognize your responsibilities at home. Y'all don't like me today, but it's the truth anyhow. Everybody say amen. Praise God. You don't allow the woman to go out and just be the full breadwinner. That's not being a man. Somebody say glory to God. Amen. I can talk on this, praise God, just freelance. <laughs> Somebody say glory to God because it comes easy. Somebody say glory to God. Yes. Nowadays, amen, the young man looking at for what the woman got. Amen. Somebody say amen. Yes. See, that's the sorry point. Uh, yes. Amen. Yes. He's a man, but he's a sorry man. See, yes. You got the foolish man, then you got the sorry man. Yes. Now, I could talk about this sorry man for a long time. Yes. He's just sorry. Yes. Just disgusting. Somebody say glory to God. He, amen. The sorry man is always cool. But praying on the women. Pretty boy. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. In, in the mirror more than the woman is. Anybody know somebody like that? He got to get his hair together. He got to get his nails done. Somebody say glory to God. He don't like he don't like dirt in his nails. That's a trait of a real man, but he got a little dirt in his nails. That means he's working. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say amen. I don't believe in no man with no soft, soft hands. You know, you shake their hand and their hand is like butter. Somebody say glory to God. All grease down in lotion. <laughs> Y'all ladies ought to say amen. amen. Somebody say glory to man. You want a man with a man shake. <laughs> some roughness. And some strength in that hand. Somebody say glory to God. You don't want your shake to be stronger than his shake. Oh no. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say amen. You know, I, I know some guys I'll be prepared when I shake their hand because they going it's gonna be a it's gonna be a squeeze contest. You know, most, most men that shake your hand, you know, you my, my grip better than yours. You know, they ain't gonna say it, but y'all men know what I'm talking about. Somebody say glory to God. 
Amen. So you got those pretty Ricky men. <laughs> I'm about to say glory to God. Let's not forget about Freaky Freddy. The boss said, glory to God. Glory. Amen. Praise God. And y'all women, y'all laughing, but y'all run to him. I'll take care of you. Woo. Silly, 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 silly. Somebody said, glory to God. Glory. But how many know that ain't what it's all about? Somebody say amen. amen. Any real man is going to look for a real woman. It is uh, the half a man that looks for a half a woman. So if you're presenting yourself as half a woman, you're going to attract half a man. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. It is the half woman, amen, that looks for the man to pay his, her bills. Well, I got a man to pay my light bill. I got a man to pay my water bill. I got a man to pay my this. I got a man to pay my that. I got a man. But can't we talk real in here today? Somebody said, glory to God. Amen. That's a whore. Y'all don't like me in here. Somebody said, glory to God. You, you don't have to whore around. Somebody said, glory to God. Amen. When you got God on your side. God never intended you to get your bill paid. Amen. By land with different guys. Y'all don't like me. But it's the truth anyhow. Somebody say glory to God. See, what are you saying? We're, we're living in a sex craved society. Come on, and everybody in here, amen, do you know, I see your halo over your head, amen, but you cannot deny the fact that in the world now, it's all about sex. Oh, come on, y'all. All over the internet, all over the TV, amen, all in the newspaper, everywhere you look, somebody trying to get a hookup. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody got to stand and be real. Somebody got to stand and be like God would have you to be. Yes. Look at somebody say, I want to be right. I want to do it right. Somebody say, God, hallelujah. You'll be surprised, amen, of the people, amen, that's making it. Pray God. And they, they, their job is just a camouflage for what they're really doing. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say glory to God. And now here's my take on it. Amen. These married men, that's supporting it. It ain't all the women. It's these men that's supporting it. And both of them are married. Hallelujah. I say most of them are married. Yeah. Now they, they look for the married men. Yeah. They looking for the wedding band on the finger. Those are the ones they after. The boss said glory to God. Why? Because they got something to lose. Somebody said glory. This is why so many of them get caught up in the blackmail. Why? Praise God, because we're living in a sex-craved society. You think AIDS will slow some of it down, but I don't think so. Amen. Oh, Lord, y'all don't like me today. But I'm just trying to tell it right. Cause now, why are you saying that? Why, 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 Pastor? Why you? This is Father's Day, man. You messing my day up? <laughs> what? I'm not intending to mess your day up, hey, Amen. I'm trying to help you up. Cause I 
don't care how cute you think you are. I don't care how ugly you are. Amen. They're going to be after you. And I want the marriages in here to stick. I want it to stay. Somebody say, glory, how do you do it? By teaching you what to look for. Somebody say, glory to God, because they're coming. If they think you got a dollar, they're coming. Somebody say, glory to God. You might not go home and tell your wife, but they're coming. Ladies, they're coming. You get tired of your husband, they're coming. They're going to present themselves. Somebody say, amen. Are you married? Yeah. Are you happily married? Somebody say glory to God. I, come on, that's what they say. They ask you, are you happily married? Now, if you got to think about that, they already know uh, I, it, 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 there's a possibility that I can work my works right here. Because he has it. See, they're watching your reaction when they ask you the question. And you say, if they, he say you happily married, you got to think about it. They got your number. Now I ask you the question, how many of y'all, amen, if somebody asks you that, would you have to think about it? And if you're here today and you have to think about it, then you need to, you need to consider and you need to do something. I mean, y'all need to get your marriage together because if the thought is there, the enemy know the thought is there too. Somebody say glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're going to talk about, amen, real men. I'm, we're not going to be long because we know y'all want to go get your family dinner on and all this, this sort of thing. Amen. Praise God. But real men, real men. Amen. Real men. Number one, real men love Jesus. Real men love Jesus. They love Jesus to a point. Amen. Till their love for Jesus carries over to their love for their wives and their family. It goes from family, wife to people. How do you determine, amen, how far a man love can go? Amen. How much he loved Jesus. It's as simple as that. How much he loved Jesus. If he loved God, he's going to do the right thing. Got it? If he loved God, his love for God, amen, will override, amen, anything that come against his marriage. Because number one, he don't want to let God down. He don't want to hurt God. Now, I say, now let me tell you this now. When I say man, we're talking about uh, the male man, Okay? Because when they say man, the man is really broken down male and female. Somebody say amen. Look, somebody say man is broken down and it's really male and female. Somebody say glory to God. So when he made man, the Bible says, he say, let, let, let us make man after what? Our own image and let us do what? Huh? Let us make man after our own image and let them... Have what? Dominion. dominion. Let them have dominion. So when God created, he created them both. Yes. Yes. Amen? But he put them in different houses. Yes. Yes. Somebody say amen. He put the man in a male house. He put the female in a female house. Body what I'm talking about. Somebody say glory to God. Amen. Now he Here's the thing, amen, some of us confused don't know which house we're supposed to be in. <laughs> Y'all quiet up in here. Somebody say amen. Praise God, amen. You see a man acting like a woman, he, he don't know which house he's supposed to be in. In the wrong house. Somebody say amen. Somebody say glory to God. And vice versa. You see a woman acting like a man. Hey. You're in the wrong house. <laughs> so
Somebody say glory to God. Amen. Why you say that? I never know what's among you. So I'm here to tell you, amen. Everybody look at your neighbor and say, are you in the right house? Are you in the right house? You can't be a little bit in this house, a little bit in that house. No, you're either all male or nothing. All female or nothing. Somebody say amen. A woman, don't come run up on me talking like a man. Because this preacher going to tell you, uh-uh, I'm -uh, loose here. You're in the wrong house. If you can't say amen, say ouch. Amen. Somebody's tongue's caught now. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Look, somebody say, Pastor, I don't he know what time it is. Man. And if you're in your right house, stay there. Amen. Don't venture over. To see what the other house is like. You might get hooked. You might get caught in a bondage. Oh, come on, y'all. Somebody said, glory, glory. The reason why there are so many lesbians now is because somebody got curious. I wonder. No, 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 no. Ain't no, ain't no wondering. When it come out, I don't need to wonder. You need to say, I know I'm a woman. Oh, yeah. woman. Yeah. Somebody say, glory to God. Glory. Somebody say, See, nowadays, the young people, they're just so mixed up, they don't know who they are, what they are. Yeah. Pray for our young people. Yeah. They don't know what they marry. Yeah. It's the truth. Somebody say, it's the truth anyhow. Now, if y'all didn't want to come and hear the truth, y'all should have stayed home. Amen. But it's the truth anyhow. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, the man, praise God, number one, as I said, he got to know who he is. He got to know, number one, that he is the visionary of the house. Visionary. Somebody say visionary. visionary. He's the visionary of the house. Now, why you say that he's the visionary of the house? Because the way God designed it, the way God planned it. Amen. Before he took Eve, amen, out of his side, amen, God showed him Eden. He showed him the do's and the don'ts. Come on. He showed him all the land. He said, now I want you to do everything. I want you to have dominion over all this, but don't mess with that tree over there. So he showed the man the what? The vision. Got it? Every man should have a vision for his household. He should have a vision for his household. With the support of the wife, but the man should have the vision of his household. He should know where he's leading his family. If he don't know where he's leading his family, a spirit of confusion can come in there and mess him up. Somebody say glory to God. He should know, okay, all right, my children are getting big, so I got to have a vision. I got to have a vision. By the time they get this age, I got to have the right type of house. I can't, we all can't be cramped in no one-bedroom house. Come on, y'all. Somebody say glory to God. So in other words, while they're living in the time, praise God, let's say he got two little kids. Somebody say glory to God. If a man got a vision, he's looking further. He's looking 10 years down the road. The wife's just enjoying the moment, taking care of the children, cooking, feeding them. But that man, look at that boy getting big. And that boy and that girl, they get a certain age, they can't sleep in the same bedroom. So the visionary got to provide, say, they need their own rooms. 
somebody say glory to God. So therefore, I got to look ahead. Whether I'm going to add on to this one, whether we got to get a bigger house, or whether we got to do something. I got to start now. See, that's the part of a visionary. He don't wait till the situation get out of control. He looking way down the line. Hallelujah. And it's good for a woman, amen, to be with a man that has a vision. Somebody say, good. don't fight him, amen, get with him. Somebody say, glory to God. Because whether you know it or not, ladies, you can blur his vision. You can blur his vision. The Bible says a wise woman will do what? But a foolish woman will do what? Amen. Don't no man need no woman by in his ear nagging, nagging, nagging all the time. Just every, everything. You would think some men would say amen. But somebody said glory to God. Don't blur his vision. Don't blur his vision. If he got an a, a, a attitude to, to, to go further, let him go support him and let him go further. Especially when it's out of an honest heart. Especially when he got, amen, his family, amen, at heart. Somebody said glory to God. Not only that, he got to be the breadwinner. Now the society has corrupt. Now the lady's the breadwinner. Majority in the houses, the lady's the breadwinner. Now watch this. Some men are not there by choice. So you got to determine whether your husband or man is there by choice or whether he wants to be. Yeah. If he's not there, if he's there by, you know, if he, he can't help that situation, then you have to have patience until God bless him. Yeah. See, every man ain't the same. Every man don't want to just sit. I, I can't, it, it bothers me when I, I'm home and my wife gone. Come on, y'all. That, that, that ought to get to a man. Come on, y'all.